Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the Housecoat Gamer. It's time to take care of enemies. Our Alliance is going to need more help if we want to succeed against the Vodwar. We'll need to make packs with other species in the Quadrant, and not everyone is going to see this our way. That's where you come in. Go out there and show them the value of cooperation. As you might have guessed, I am going to be sticking to the Andorian Escorts. Because one, I like them. Two, they're powerful. And three, I kind of like them. mission that involves our friend Gaul. Brainwashed git. God, I love this thing. It's so pretty. It's got such big guns. Bigger guns than Defiant. <laughs> What can I say? If you're gonna make a gunboat, you gotta make sure it's built to be a gunboat. Not just a pair of engine, a gun, a set of guns strapped to a pair of engines. The frame has to be able to handle it. Especially when you fire all those guns at once. Hmm. Someone needs to talk to Hierarchy to not be stupid. The Terrain have reported a high incidence of raiders and piracy here. Their vessels are under Voth protection. Any acts of aggression toward them will be dealt with. Harshly. Good. Be advised that there are Terrain fighters inbound for trade relations with the Hierarchy. Our escort vessels will be matching your position soon. Interference with Terrain commerce will not be tolerated. What do you know, for once a Voth that isn't being a complete asshole. Ah, I see our escort has arrived. And you as well. Really? No respect. I outgun those boss ships. The only thing I really have to worry about is who's going to be attacking them. Oh no! More raiders! Help! Help! Oh, great. Vaudois. Let me have my room again. 
because I rarely have moments That like completes this. our run. We'll wait for our trade contact here. The Hazari? <laughs> Granted, I don't do patrols. Uh. Much obliged for the escort. I think I'm just a little too fast for these guys. I mean... I'm outpacing them. At minimum impulse power. Raiders in battle. Transport now. This is fun. Speaking for myself and all of my crew, I'd like to say that we appreciate the escort. Oh, you'll be happy. And I'll be even happier when I have more targets to fire. Quite honestly, I enjoy shooting at Bodwar now. I used to dread it. Then my DPS... Uh-oh! Multiple hostiles on sensors! Here we are, safe and sound. Raiding another group of raiders inbound to the trade facility. Ready to intercept. <laughs> Thank you. 
three shipments of supplies, intact and on schedule. Unfortunately, this was a limited time project. For now, our partnership must come to an end. With my compliments to you and your crew. Thank you very much. Well, that mission's over. And because it worked not happen so fast, I think it's time to deal with our friends for the last time. Hmm. I still haven't done that one, but that's an STF. So... Time to take him down. The time has come to end the Vaudois threat to the Delta Quadrant. Our allies are assembling at the Janolan Dyson Sphere to plan our assault on the Vaudois homeworld. You will serve as the battle commander for the assault. Admiral Tuvok is waiting for you at the Janolan Dyson Sphere. He will brief you and our allies on our strategy. Good hunting. So far, I think we've kind of proven that my ship is more than suitable to killing these people. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me have my moment. It has been a very long time since I've been able to destroy ships like that. And the Vaudoir have always been pain. So I'm sorry if I'm enjoying this a little too much. I'm blowing up Vaudoir ships left and right. Let me enjoy the moment. Hello, Tuvok. We are not yet ready to begin. While I finish preparations, I suggest you speak to the liaisons of our allies. The Vaudoir are anticipating an attack of some kind, and we know they are monitoring our ship movements closely. Therefore, I suggest we adapt the tactics of our enemies to our own use. As a diversion, I have dispatched Alliance ships to the Cartella system to engage the Vaudoir forces there. If they are successful, by the time the Vaudoir realize what is happening, we will have already secured Vaudoir Prime. The Vaudoir believe the other species of this quadrant are too weak to challenge them. We will use that misconception to our advantage by using our Delta Quadrant allies to assault Vaudoir Prime itself. We are not yet ready to begin. The Cooperative asked me to inform you that they appreciate your assistance, and are prepared to provide what assistance they can in the final battle against the Vaudoir. The Cooperative's main weapon is adapted Borg technology. Cooperative vessels can confuse the systems of opposing ships and cause them to fire on friendly targets. This tactic is most effective in mixed groups of ships, where the Cooperative can turn the larger vessels against the smaller ones. The Cooperative appreciates your partnership, and we are eager to end the Vaudoir threat to our quadrant. Our technological capabilities are at your disposal. I'm not sure I completely trust the Kazon after our experience with Marsh Sesson, but they say they'll fight for us today. Maybe you'll have better luck reaching a consensus with them than I did. The only way to get him from Kazon to do what you want is to beat the crap out of him until he finally goes, You're stronger than I am. It is the way. <laughs> the Kazon have a large number of ships and fight without fear. However, their lack of organization makes slotting them into precise battle formations problematic. They'll go to war with you, but they may not follow every order. The Kazon are eager for battle. Our enemies will fall today. All of them. Sorry about that last one. I had to check something. Now, there's the doctor. Good to see you again. 
Through my excellent diplomatic skills and some assistance from Admiral Tuvok, I have managed to convince the Hierarchy Board of Directors that assisting us in this battle and ensuring the end of the Vaudoir will improve their long-term profits. Translation. They know that I am the deadliest person they don't want to run into. Let me have my moment, okay? I rarely have time to enjoy the fact that I now have decent DPS. It's not the best, I will admit it, but it's good enough. The Hierarchy are experts at surveillance and espionage. If the Vaudoir try any tricks, the Hierarchy would be the ones we should send to subvert them. Greetings! The Hierarchy is anticipating a profitable transaction under your guidance. Our surveillance and tactical capabilities are at your disposal. We have a firm contract with the Hazari. It would bring them great dishonor to fail to complete it, so I expect that we'll have their full support in this battle. The Hazari ships usually fight in pairs. One ship hangs back and provides shield support for the other. This gives them excellent defensive capabilities, but it comes at a cost. Their firepower isn't quite as strong as it would be if they weren't so dedicated to protection. Greetings. The Hazari will uphold our end of the contract. To the letter. And we expect you to do the same. We specialize in defense. And our ships are at your disposal. The presentation will begin momentarily. Perhaps you would be willing to check in with the representatives of our other allies. We invited Eldex's people and the Herogen, but neither group chose to send a representative. Greetings. The Benthan Guard is honored to join you in the fight against the Vaudoir. We dedicate our lives to promoting law and order throughout the Delta Quadrant. Finding someone else with the same ideals is unusual, but most gratifying. Hello again! You've done so much to help us. It's only right that we help you this time. Great. The zombies. It is what they are. They take the dead and turn them into Kabali. I'm not gonna deny that's what they are. It's an honor to meet you again. I am eternally grateful for your assistance on my world. By joining you in this fight, perhaps I can begin to repay a small portion of the life debt my people owe you. Fair warning, if I see any corpse, if I see a sudden uptick in the Kabali population after this battle, there will be blood. Your blood. Suffer not the undead to live. Maybe you can unscrew your reproductive problems by talking to the Borg Cooperative. They've got Borg technology, and frankly, Borg technology is very adaptive. Perhaps too adaptive. That explains why the Borg are so OP. <laughs> Greetings. Aiding you against the Vaudoir was a difficult decision for our people. We do not wish to ally with you, but we understand that ending Gaul's reign of terror is more important than our discomfort. If you are ready, I will begin the presentation. More than ready. I want to start shooting a gall. <laughs> I'm giddy. Sue me. The bulk of the Vodwar fleet has pulled back to Vodwar Prime. We expect to face the final might of the Vodwar, including Gaul's flagship. Our battle there will have five fronts, 
each progressively closer to the planet. Our rendezvous point will be here, where the mineral content of the moon will help to hide our ships. The Touré will secure the subspace tunnels in this area, while the Kabali will help the wounded. The Admiral has already given us our assignment. Our forces will assault the other side of the planet to secure the area against a possible retreat. Our Talaxian friends will be in charge of transporting prisoners of war. To give us the best possible chance of success, our battle commander will be able to call in one wing of our allies at each of the first four fronts. Each wing of allies has different tactical advantages. The cooperative can confuse enemies. The Kazon have many ships and fight without fear. The hierarchy have unparalleled espionage and surveillance abilities and should be difficult to take by surprise. Hazari vessels fight in pairs, with one ship reinforcing the other's shields. This battle will be difficult, but we must prevail. The only difficult part's gonna be on the ground. In space? That's another story. <laughs> Let me have my moment, okay? The fleet is ready to begin the assault. I will remain behind to coordinate their movements, while you will be commanding the battle from the field. We have four wings of allies at our disposal to help you break through the Vaudoir lines. I recommend deploying one wing in each area. Are you ready to begin? The Vaudoir have sent out several large frigate scout forces. Which wing of allies do you want to assist you? An excellent choice. The Kazon number should be a match for the frigates, and their lack of organization should not be too great of a hindrance. Something's not right here. The Kazon are in the wrong position, and they aren't responding to my hails. Curse your sudden, but inevitable betrayal. I knew this was gonna happen. Great, the Kazon Nistrum. Better off if they were exterminated. Yeah. She did. She very much did. I was worried they might double cross us, but I never thought they would be so blatant. But come to think of it, they did say some pretty suspicious things during the briefing. Fortunately, Admiral Tuvok and I have a backup plan. Sesson has been encroaching on Herogen territory for some time. They'll join us in battle for a chance to collect his ship as a trophy. <laughs> One Venetic class battleship, a couple of escorts. Time to kill everything. We will hunt! Let's see how much damage I can do.
pretty sure that was a warp core breach. I don't care. has secured the subspace tunnels. The Vardwar will not be able to use them to attack or to retreat. We shall establish a medical flotilla and secure the area. Vessels of the fleet can transport any wounded, including Vardwar, to our ships for treatment. If any of the wounded die without good reason, or if they suddenly turn into Kabali, your asses are mine. Understood? God, I'm enjoying this just a little too much. <laughs> uh, during my first playthrough with this character, I got slaughtered. The Vaudoir have set up a cruiser picket line in this area. Which ally do you want to advance? A sound tactical choice. The Hazari methods utilize one ship to reinforce the shields of another. Vaudoir cruisers do not have the firepower to break through the reinforced shielding. They don't stand a chance against me. Seriously, I am the deadliest asset here. Oh, hello. The Kazon Ogla will no longer stand by while the Relora and Nistrum sully our name with their treachery. I will make good on their false promises. I'm surprised, but I'm happy. Sick the Kazon Vodwar defenders, and we are entering position for our next offensive. Resistance has been heavier than expected, but our ships have so far proved equal to the task. Please remember to direct any wounded or prisoners of war to our flotilla at Alpha Front. That went well. What do you want me to do now? Hold the area. I'm advancing. My health regen has increased significantly. I pin most of this on the person in The Vaudoir have constructed a defensive line of battleships supported by frigates. Which wing of allies would you like to help you? 
I think I'm gonna hit them with the Borg. They're not gonna like being hit with the Borg. <laughs> uh, in case you're wondering, yes, that was a reference to Star Wars. The pre-Disney nonsense. During the Yuzhan Vong War. Wedge Antilles with Operation Emperor's Hammer. We're gonna hit the Vong with an enemy they haven't had the displeasure of dealing with. We're gonna hit him with the Empire. They're not gonna like the Empire. <laughs> An excellent strategy. The technology of the Cooperative may be able to cause the larger ships to attack the smaller ones. Certainly, the Cooperative coordination and discipline will be more than a match for the tactical abilities of the Vodwar. Stand a chance. <laughs> Just in case. Every Prizes the Vodwar might have in store. Ah, the spying potatoes have finally entered the fight.
that's actually rather impressive. I'm doing this much damage with very little trades. That being said. the amount of paperwork you had to fill out. Bureaucrats and profiteers. Ferengi, worse. Last but not least, the Missouri managed to spare a ship and put it under my command. I am impressed with the show of support from our allies. However, my tactical analysis means that our forces are inferior to the bot I've been kicking your ass this entire time. You're next, Gaul. First, Bodwar, I've been I'm gonna give out the Bible to see him. That's for you. You have the best ass.
Gates. You see this? No traits, no nothing. This is ridiculous. Why does it keep happening? traits about bloody time let's see what I can do not to mention you have the ultimate anti vaudoir set the delta set this thing's designed to de de deal with their uh, pods you know I keep forgetting to give colas Better, a better uniform, something more fitting. Probably the Voyager uniform. I'm sorry. No invincibility for you. Every one of you is dead. Everyone gets a grenade. Oops. significant amount of shields. Take no prisoners? That's exactly what I was thinking. more trouble killing these guys before. That must have been before I started my reputation equipment grind. Shouldn't be surprised.
reputation equipment happens to be some of the most overpowered stuff in the game. And I happen to have the most vaudoir suited stuff in the game. That ability that disables everything electronic. That's best suited for dealing with Vaudemar. Oh good. Now I have to fight for Gaul's entertainment. And deal with his delusions of grandeur. Goddamn your God. persistence is a credit to your race. Welcome, my friend. But it is you should have joined me story. when you had the chance. Your blood will drench the sands of our blasted home. Well, that was interesting. A nice little bug. Cryptic should fix that. Surrender, Gaul. But I know you won't. You're too insane. Or stupid to realize it. You suck. Congratulations. You have earned the right to die on the hallowed soil of Bakwa Pride. You can do better than that. Although you are clearly not the brightest aliens in the universe, your bravery is admirable. And I do respect Starfleet for ending my people's long twilight. Surrender now, and I give you my word I will spare your people. You and the other leaders will need to be executed, of course. But that is only to maintain order. Personally, I bear you no ill will. You see this? He's delusional. I think the Iconians have, uh... Well, to put it on... To put it simply, they put a magnet beside his head and erased his... intelligence. Yes, that's possible. You can actually swipe a mag... a super-powered magnet across somebody's head and make them do whatever the hell you want. In some case, in many cases, it just removes your ability to feel empathy. That's twice you've refused my generosity. I should be insulted, but your pitiful blindness makes it difficult. You're an idiot of the highest degree. Time to die. Keep trying, Gaul. 
The Vardwar controlled this quadrant once, and our new allies have only made us stronger. Or more stupid. Next. Is that the best you've got? Now's your chance! Defeat Gaul! This should be easy now that I can take down his little drones. No drones for you. I thought you might like to know. I have the liberty to stand with Gaul for a while. He does not have a power factor. And I don't think he ever did. What? That's impossible! Not so fun without your little drones, are you? Aww. You're kind of pathetic without your toys. Get back here so I can kill you. How many of you do they have? The Vaudoir Empire will never fall, and you will not even be a footnote in our glorious history. Are you hearing this? This guy's freaking nuts. Single person he sent against me. None of my crew have fallen once. And he honestly thinks he can win? Dead we cannot be lost. stopped. Time after time we rise from the ashes, and we are stronger for doing so. Moron. Your logic is flawed, Gaul. You are already defeated. The evil I mistakenly unleashed on the galaxy ends at last. My people and the galaxy must believe the parasites were behind his madness. In a way... They were. The remaining Vaudoir have surrendered. What is your current situation? Gaul is dead. At long bloody last. Were you able to determine why he returned to the surface? It was a tactical error. Even if Underspace was closed to him, Gaul would have had more opportunities to escape if he had remained in his ship. Let's find out. Certainly. May I recommend Seven, Captain Kim, the Doctor, and Neelix join us as well. Their insight may be valuable. Contact them. I don't believe it. I did this with no deaths. Sure, I had a trait reset, but that's more bug than 
Honestly, I wasn't sure about coming back to the Delta Quadrant. I have a family and a life back home, and the idea of being 70,000 light years away again wasn't appealing. But seeing the good we've done for the Kabali, and now stopping the Vodwar, I think we were needed here. You were needed. Thank you. It's been a pleasure serving with you. I hope we meet again. Oh, we will. Just not under circumstances, I would prefer. While this conflict was regrettable, it was, ultimately, for the greater good. Gaul's hubris and ambition blinded him to the harm he was doing to the Delta Quadrant and his own people. Now the threat is ended. There will be time to heal the damage he has done. I was responsible for the return of the Vatlar. Even though Admiral Janeway told me she might have done the same thing, it was ultimately my actions that allowed all this destruction to happen. I participated in the assimilation of many different species during my time with the Borg. Those acts weigh on me. The wanton slaughter caused by the Vodwar will do so as well. Nevertheless, I am pleased I could, in some way, make up for my actions. By assisting the Ture, working with the Cooperative, and fighting the Vodwar here today, we have helped end what began more than 30 years ago when I activated those stasis tubes and freed the Vodwar. Thank you. War is just a pointless waste of life. Usually for a political reason, it doesn't much matter in the long term anyway. I understand that sometimes we need to fight to defend those who cannot defend themselves. I respect that. But what Gaul was doing here was madness. It's one thing for him to want to rebuild his people. It's something entirely different to destroy dozens of worlds to do so. Well, when your brain is being manipulated by the Iconians. Spoilers. I'm not a man who normally dwells on revenge, but when Gaul and his soldiers attacked my people, it was almost all I could think about. Dexa helped me to see that death doesn't heal wounds of the heart, but thank you. This quadrant is safer now that Gaul and his soldiers are defeated, and I'm glad I was here to see it happen. Radiation? Oh crap. I know exactly what this is. Intriguing. This device is not familiar to me but it does not appear to be of Vodwar origin. I will bring it back to Voyager for further analysis. Not counting that 10 minute patrol. This is one of the longest missions I've ever had. Congratulations. Your leadership during the assault on Vaudois Prime and the subsequent defeat of Gaul was inspired. With Gaul's defeat and the destruction of his fleet, we've secured the Delta Quadrant against a terrible threat. And I hope this is the last we see of the neural parasites and infected Vaudois. Perhaps even more importantly, we've united many species of the Delta Quadrant against a common enemy. This bodes well for future diplomatic negotiations and operations in the Delta Quadrant. They've worked together once, and they can do it again. However, the discovery of this artifact concerns me. Admiral Tuvok is leading an analysis. I'll contact you once we have more information. Hello. Housecode Gaming, taking a nap. Signing off.